So if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Wow. Anything? Anything. If you could get paid to do anything in the world, what would you get paid to do? Anything in the world? Anything. If you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Like just anything if I wanted to? Whatever you want to do. Um, if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Oh, I just feel like we don't talk about this stuff enough, yeah, you know? Man, what's going on, people? Ronnie Spee, coming back. Man, you know what time it is, man. Here we're going to do another corporate jobs versus Uber and Lyft. Which one is better, you know? We, and of course, we're going to be talking about the mindset. You know, last week I launched the first corporate jobs versus Uber and Lyft. And um, something interesting was said by a passenger I think her name was Anna. She said, we don't discuss this enough. And that, that's true. We really don't discuss going or tell people that they should truly go after what they want in life. You know, we tell them the opposite, something that's supposed to be safe and that's supposed to work. But a lot of times it doesn't work for most people. Hence people go to college, get all this student loan debt. Then they find out that they sold the dream that they really don't want to pursue what they've been studying for the past four through eight, 12 years, whatever they want to do. It's like we let other people dictate our career paths and dictate our thinking for us, parents, friends, uh, society, et cetera, et cetera. So um, yeah, we're gonna have a little quick discussion. Um, of course, I asked these passengers the same question, what is success? And if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? So um, yeah, let's see what they are talking about, shall we? Good now. Alright, here you go. <laughs> what do I say or like uh, do? Just tell, tell the audience what you're doing today. Uh, so you're moving and where you moving to? And... Um, I'm moving from Berkeley City to Delhi City for a bit, but I'm coming back here for the summer semester. Okay. Oh, you're a Berkeley student? Yeah. What are, and what are you studying? Chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Uh, what do you plan on doing with chemistry? Um, maybe going to teaching. <laughs> or maybe make some cocaine. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Really? Okay, yeah. So if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Wow. Anything? Anything. You could get paid to do anything you want to do. What would you get paid to do? That's a very good question. Sam, what you do? <laughs> to breathe? Huh? <laughs> Mm, so to travel the world. To travel the world? Yeah. That's, that's I mean, what most women say. <laughs> if, like I, if I could be paid to them. travel the world, that's, that's, I'm sad for it then. So why are you studying chemistry then? <laughs> that's another good question because nobody's going to pay me to travel the world. There you go. Okay. You no, you do I just hold it? it? Okay. Alright, so you know, give a quick introduction and uh, let everybody know what you're doing right now. Uh, my name is Danielle. I am an RBT. Um, yeah. All right, so what is success to you? Success to me is reaching whatever goal you want in life, whether it's like a materialistic goal or maybe like, I don't know, just being happy in life or yeah, reaching your dream job, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. next question. So if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Like just anything, if I wanted to? Whatever you want to do. So as an occupation, career, you get paid for what would it be? Uh, I don't know, sleep? Probably. You get paid to sleep? Yeah, if that is possible, yes. I'm sure you could do sleep stuff. <laughs> no, it's not some stranger's thing shit. I'm not trying to do that. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Honestly, I'd probably want to work in like fashion. Fashion? Yeah. Doing what exactly? That's well, I don't know, maybe wardrobe or, oh, was I, I looked into theater and I wanted to do wardrobe and theater okay. for a while, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. I kind of just got distracted. Started studying in psychology instead. Yes, sure they will. Really? Yeah, you're social media presence. That's what a lot of people are doing nowadays, but I'm not very good at it, so. You haven't tried it. True. How'd you know if you're good at it? Yeah, like you, you're doing YouTube channel. Yeah, 
know, maybe you should make a YouTube channel, you know, go to your first destination. You know? I feel like that's something that's always at the back of my mind. Like, what if I start a vlog channel? But I know I'm not going to be very good at it. You'll be surprised. We'll, okay, what makes you think you won't be good at it? I, I feel like I, I have a very mundane lifestyle. Well, you feel like that. What do you think? What do you think? You think you won't be good I at I do it? have a mundane lifestyle. You know, it's just like school, work, sleep, eat. <laughs> At least not going to be very fun to watch that. Just gave up the, uh, the whole theater and fashion thing? or <laughs> Yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. My parents said no. <laughs> Your parents said no? Yeah. Or, I guess, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would be an affordable thing to do especially if I want to like keep living here you know mm -hmm. but yeah so what did your parents want you to do they wanted me to be a nurse and I said no to that <laughs> Good. but because just because being a nurse is a very heavy job I don't think I'd be able to like be responsible for like you know someone's life real quick man just look at all the excuses man most people don't even believe in themselves. They don't even have enough confidence in their self. But they think if they go to school and do the right thing, that this is going to uh, help them be successful. Well, more than likely it's not. How can you feel alive? How can you uh, be happy if you letting other people dictate your thinking and telling you what you should be doing? Only you know what you truly want to do and what you truly desire in life. Not your parents, not your friends, and not anybody else, man. If you know what you want in life, you should truly go after it. Stop making excuses. People be like, oh, well, I feel like I'm not that good. How do you know? You haven't even tried it. You know, most people would never even attempt, attempt anything. They just automatically count their self out because they have a negative mindset. And it's not 100% their fault, but you know, they are in control of their life, so they could definitely change it. And um, I think the best way to change it is to t start having these conversations and to start taking action. Yeah. Why, why did they want you to be a nurse? Well, because they're Filipino. I don't know. Well, my mom is a nurse. She gets paid a lot. And I think she is happy with her job, but I don't think her happiness is that, I don't think we're at the same type of, you know, we, we wouldn't have the same lifestyle. Right. Yeah, it's just all different, uh, you know, time and day and day. I think you should try to answer like the whole fashion thing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when I am in a stable financial situation, I would. You know, when I have like a, like a house and like, you know, if I'm truly like, if I feel like I'm stable, then I would well, shit, do whatever that, I would do. Well, shit, by that time, it would be too late. It's good. <laughs> I know. Probably like 40 or 50. <laughs> You see, and that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Waiting until I'm 40 or 50. What? You are not promised that long. You don't even know if you gonna even will be on earth by that time. Why would you want to wait 20 plus years to take action, to go after what you want to do? Makes no sense, man. And I heard a lot of people say that. You know, well, I'm going to start like in five years once uh, I have more time for work. Five years? You gonna wait five years to start something to go after your vision? What? But you'll go to school though. For four years, two years, eight years, whatever the case may be, you'll definitely do that. But when it's time to do things for yourself, you wanna push that off and wait and try to play it safe. There is no safety net. Take actions. You're going to overcome adversity. You're going to take some losses, but you have to keep trying until you win and succeed, man. People often ask me like, man, like you have like, so much energy how do you have so much energy how, how do you have so much confidence and it's like i don't know i guess i just got to the point where i truly you know feel alive and you know i feel passionate about what i'm doing helping people out making money and you know developing some type of network and inspiring people and like that is my purpose you know most people don't have a purpose never even thought about it they just work the job and they look for fun or other uh, external activities on the weekend so they can relieve stress. And I think that's a bad way to go about it because what you think, oh, we're having fun, we're going on a hike, we're going to brunch, blah, 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 it's all garbage. It's do you do the same thing every week. 
the end of the day, you hate your job. You really hate the people that you work with, so you're trying to rationalize your decisions. So not a good way to go, man. So this is what you do, man. Come up with a plan, really start thinking about it. If you haven't thought about what you wanna do, if you could get paid to do anything, now is the time to start thinking about it, man. You know, we see a lot of Uber and Lyft drivers out here, you know, quitting jobs, you know, doing ride share, you know, making more money than they ever had before, learning the disciplines, learning the skill set, learning, uh, developing like their mindset to become uh, greater. Like you really have to truly believe in yourself and, you, and I think you truly have to be self-reliant if you do want to be successful and if you do want to be unstoppable or, uh, or unreplaceable because these jobs can replace you in the drop of a dime. You know, one company, you know, get bought out by another company. Maybe they have to downsize or lay some people off. Bam, there's your job. Think how many people in 2020, you know, got laid off or lost their jobs. You know, some of these people have been there for years and their whole identity is tied to that specific job. Man, I never wanted to, me personally, uh, be that way, you know. So I always wanted to get paid for being me. So people always ask me, oh, what do you want to do in five years? Like, I already got my life figured out. I already know what I wanted to do. I already started taking the steps years ago to put myself in position to even start making content because I knew this, this is what I wanted to do. So maybe you don't want to do it, but hey, I know what I want to do. It's working so far and it's going to continue to work because I have supreme confidence in myself. Um, I know whatever I set my mind to, I'm going to be good at and I'm never going to stop, man. I look at life as a journey. Like some people are scared of it. Like they just want shit to happen now. And if it don't happen as quick as they think it should, then they get nervous and now they have to go back to college and get some type of degree where they think that's gonna answer their problems. Well, more than likely it's really not, man. So what you have to do is continue to learn, um, continue to network, you know, continue to level up and take action. I think action is the most important part Action and resilience, never giving up, man. You know, that's what this whole two racks a week challenge has represented, man. Two racks. Resilient actions capable of kickstarting success, man. Yeah, so, you know, give it like a quick introduction, your name, where you from? Yeah, uh, I'm Aman. Uh, I'm from, uh, uh, I'm, I'm originally from uh, Ethiopia. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, in this country, I guess I'm from Maryland and Baltimore. Um, Hell yeah! Shout out to Maryland! Shout out to Maryland! So, you know, uh, let them know why you came out here from Maryland. Yeah, uh, I came here for like internship uh, uh, to like uh, I guess pursue my dreams. Okay. Uh, sometime, uh, kind of like want to create my like own company, you know. Okay. Uh, some point, you know, uh, trying to make the bread. Okay. So first question. Yeah. Define what is success to you. Um, I'll say success is mostly uh, what you make of it, really. Like, but for me uh, at least, is to uh, provide uh, help for my family and for my country. Okay. I'd say mostly. But yeah, I'll say that's mostly the definition of success for me at least. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's nice. I like that. And if you could get paid to do anything in the world, what would you get paid to do? Anything in the world? Anything. Like, if I can snap my finger, damn. And uh, if you can be whatever you want to be, what would you do? I'd probably say uh, CEO, probably. A CEO? Yeah. Company? Yeah. What type of company? Uh, tech, tech company. Okay. Yeah. You gonna make it happen? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. One day. Thank you, man. That, that's about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for yeah. Thank you. Oh, it was ready. Alright. Should I hold it? Okay. Yep. Alright, so uh, you can just tell the audience what happened today for you. Okay. Today was my last job at my company. <laughs> Sorry. Redo. Uh, last day at my job. See, I like her right here, man. See, she got supreme confidence within herself. I've been working at this company for six and a half years. Um, probably just going to chill at home and learn more creative technology like Blender, After Effects, Premiere, stuff like that. So yeah, just taking this time to grow my skills in ways I haven't at my job. She already took action 
to quit her job. She didn't sit there and waste time and waste years at the company knowing that she hates it or knowing that she wants uh, new results. So she just quit and she already had a plan. I'm gonna start learning uh, certain skill sets, you know, to add more value, to make myself more competent so she could get compensated. And that's just how it works. It's as simple as that. Before, so yeah, that's it. What is, what is success to you? Success to me is mm, feeling, success to me is like feeling comfortable and confident about your present and your future. I guess having a good plan, but also feeling good with where you are now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, if you could get paid to do anything, what would you get paid to do? Oh, probably just like what I'm going to do after my job now, which is just, um, yeah, creative skills, things that make you think outside the box and just like invent things that people would like to use or interact with. Yeah. <laughs> now, how does it feel to you know, quit your job and, you know, take life in your own hands and go after what you want? It, it feels like a huge weight is lifted off my shoulders that I can just choose what I want to do for the extended future. Um, I don't know, I feel like I, my brain feels a lot more free to just think about other stuff and um, I don't know, I feel like I have some ideas that have been somewhere in my brain but not let out yet, so I'm gonna think about that. <laughs> and how did you go about like, you know, readapting your mindset to have enough courage to like truly believe in you as a person? <laughs> quit. Oh my god. Um I guess during COVID I did work on some like video editing um, on TikTok particularly with my friend's dog <laughs> and we made a lot of really fun videos and we gained some sort of a following so that felt really great and I was like huh it's actually something I can do even though it's not like my full-time job so yeah well, good luck with <laughs> thank you yeah <laughs> now what exactly does you know these passengers have in common with uber and lyft drivers um, I think we have more similarities than differences, actually. Um, for a lot of us, this is where we started at. You know, we was tired of our status quo. You know, we wanted something different, and uh, we found a way to, you know, not also make money, uh, tick that box of, you know, somewhat happiness, freedom, and um, to pursue the things that we really are passionate about and the things that we want to achieve. But, you know, we, I feel like we are one step ahead of you know most people because we already took the action to quit and um you know to put our shit in motion you know that's the the true main differences between us and them so we're gonna do a quick second pat ourselves on the back you know for taking action not being fearful and doing the hardest thing possible which is to turn out all the noise from the negative people family friends etc etc and we're gonna take life we're gonna cease it in our own hands, man. That's what it's about, man. But shout out to the last passenger. I forgot her name. You know, she wasn't fearful like a lot of you other chickens. I don't want to call you cowards, even though I really do. But I'm gonna be nice today. So all you chickens, no fuck that. All you cowards out there, stop being a coward. Just go after. It. Stop listening to your parents. Just try it, man. Life is a journey, man. And um. You know, you gotta, all you video game people who like to play games, it's just like a video game. You gotta beat one level, then you go to the next level, then you go to the next level, then you constantly level up, man. Get off the game and play the game of life. That's what it's about. But other than that, man, Rodney Speed, you know, I'm start doing more of these videos. We're gonna start having these conversations. And uh, we're gonna see or figure out, you know, I guess some type of, universal answer for success and um we're gonna see why people are really going after what they truly want in life man like what's holding them back um what type of barriers are they putting upon themselves or are they listening to other people who would never have the courage to go after what they want in life man let's have this conversation and um yeah other than that until the next corporate video i holla back Drum roll, please.
Peace.